Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. God is good. Oh, please do not go. What did you hear from mom? God is good. And all the time. Indeed. He is a man. 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 He is a on the entire Dofa Wash again, it was a Ghana and Afans are in general. Another part of the world, we just want to say a very good evening to you and also welcome you to this wonderful, all important event happening live at the Takarari Shopping Mall. And say, I want to watch on you, Zuma Hini, or yet the Tebuta Youth Choir. I'm sure I've gotten the name right. What is the name you do? But I'm sure what better church you want to sign away if you have. The Southwest Ghana Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, it is um, 25 years old. Now, here's Silver Jubilee, no, and I actually shout to what they Your mom was in the air, she and Apo Mizuna, who is some, we should talk about our health. Uh, it is very much important. See, you need Apo Mizuna, you need to be sure that you need to be sure that you need to be sure that so from today till Saturday, it's all about our health. Now, you have to be sure that you need to be sure that you need to be sure that I don't want to be said, very no, say it will feel necessary to hear now. It be so charge. So, our party as a song of Raza Kondo, your boss or Egina, Nayatan Safre, or Safo Kaku, now as again opening prayer, no, or the brain. Shall we all be upstanding as we invite Pastor Kaku for our opening prayer? If you're watching us live at home, you bow down your heads and then you join us in this prayer. Of course, the program it is running from now till somewhere eight, and you need to be a part of it. It's about our health. And we need to know more. So, Pastor Kaku will join us on stage now. Ose, or you hear opening prayer on Ose Abraham. Shall we bow for a word of prayer? We are grateful unto you, our God and our Father, for a time like this. A time we can sit and listen to your servant minister to us in health. We listen to your servant opening your scripture to us. We pray that your Holy Spirit will fill this place. Father, May you bring us peace and sound mind as we listen to your servant this evening. Bless us in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Oh, somebody, put your hands together for us, for Kaku. So, for thank you so much. Your dad said, Papa, Papa. Uh, if you are new, 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 you um, Sarisha in our Volta region. You're watching us live from the Volta region. We just want to say, Whistle, Whistle, Whistle. Your Mobi Biara Aquaba, Sonko Cram. Your Ken Humde Jumizi, or your the Southwest Ghana Conference of the Seventh day Adventist Church, and your Nigel Memorial um, Adventist Hospital, and your Kabuma. Yes, at this four day lecture. Yes, a brother. It will be exciting, and uh, I'm just entreating you wherever you are to follow us through to the end of this very event. So we feel necessary to you now. You need to be here at the Takradi Mall. A Hannah action in Europe or receive. Um, right about now, you're about to order the choir. 
now was it the opening hymn was a Abrahian. In opening hymn no, your fan was SDAH8. And I as a brown one. So we are all singing this one together. So please be upstanding. If you are watching us live at home, just pick your hymn books and join us. Let us all sing together. So please, those here, shall we be upstanding? Now you can join all the choir for the opening hymn. So let's be upstanding. Omi in Arab, you can serve in of course, Master in this Oliver, my name is Kojo Addison. I welcome you wherever you are. Thank you very much, choir. Baby, I wear it here and I'll dare you here for Biara. I'm going to tell you, baby, Biara, you're busy here and you're so many rats. You're about to run in Piper Brim. We're about entering into a season of prayer. You're about to pay for my money. You're about to pay for my house. At this point, I'll invite Pastor Daniel Armstrong Kuma, who is the executive secretary, was the Southwest Ghana Conference. Na Onyena Babura in Paibom. If you're watching us live at home, I will entreat you to be part of this season of prayer. And I know that the Lord whom we serve will meet you at the point of your need. Pastor Kuma will join me. Na Yetumi Abompei. Pastor Kaku is here. Pastor Teju is also here. When you're about Bob and Pai. Pastor Kuma. Good evening to you all. We thank God for this program. We're going to pray within the next three minutes. We have four prayer points. Our first prayer point is we're praying for the peace of Ghana. We're praying that the Lord will bring peace in our country so that we will have the mind said to be able to worship our Lord. So I have a team with me, Pastor Joshua Kaku, and then Pastor Ata Ejiri to join me in this prayer point. Let's begin with the first prayer point, peace in Ghana. Let us pray. We pray for the peace of our country, Ghana. When you, O oh Lord, place your hand on this country, there will be absolute peace. There will be tranquility. Therefore, we invite you, just as we have experienced peace in times past, that the days ahead, we will continue to enjoy peace in this country. When we have peace, we will have the mindset to worship you. When we have peace, we, will have, we can attend to our businesses. We can attend school. We can attend hospitals. And everything will run smoothly in this country. Therefore, we pray 
that you touch the heart of our politicians as they sit and deliberate upon issues, Father, they will think about things which will foster peace, which will foster unity and tranquility in this country. Therefore, we pray that may you breathe your peace in this country, for we have prayed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Pastor Taijiru will be praying our next prayer point for us. We are praying for all child facilities and then the staff and management. So he will lead us in that prayer point. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you at this hour. We commit the church facilities into thy care. We are praying in Jesus' name that you touch all the Christian Health Association of Ghana. We are praying that if anyone in this facility needs your help, needs your wisdom, the divine wisdom and knowledge to leave these facilities, we are praying in Jesus' name that you, Father, you give it to them. We are also praying and commit the board of directors of all these facilities. We are praying and commit the leadership as well, also the administrators in these facilities that you also be with them. We are praying that when it's come to the healing, you are the best healer. So you are praying that all the doctors, all the medical assistants, all the health personnel that they are administering in these facilities, you are going to help them and you will give them the divine wisdom. So if there's any sickness that will come in these facilities, you open their minds, you give them the insight so that they will be able to heal these patients. We commit all these facilities in thy care that you be with them. You bestow your blessings on these facilities in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Our next prayer point, we pray committing Ghana Adventist Health Services facilities into the hands of the Lord. So as you pray in, the, in your homes, remember this facilities. Let's bow and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we pray committing God's facilities into your mighty hand. We commit the God's director into your care. We commit the management and all those that matter in making these facilities work successfully in your mighty hand. We pray that you take absolute control over our facilities and let there be sources. Whatever they do, let it bring blessing unto your people and your name. We thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our final prayer point, we want to pray committing a Negro Adventist Memorial Hospital into the hands of the Lord. Negro Memorial Adventist Hospital. We shall ask Pastor Kaku to do that prayer for us. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we pray committing Negro Adventist Memorial Hospital into your care. Father, from the board of directors, through to the management and to the staff of this hospital, may your spirit take control. Father, we pray that this hospital will be a point that the Holy Spirit will fill and anyone who comes to this hospital physically, spiritually will be healed in the name of Jesus. We pray that in their activities, O oh Lord, you will touch souls, not healing, as, uh, not healing only, but also it will be a point where people will see Jesus, where people will know Jesus. It will be a place of rest for people who are vulnerable. We pray that, Lord, you will be with this hospital and let this hospital grow from grace to grace, from strength to strength. We pray for prosperity. We pray that, O oh Lord, you will strengthen the workforce of this hospital, that there will be unity and together we will build Nigel Adventist Memorial and this hospital will soar higher and higher in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Father, Lord Almighty, we thank you for everything you have done for us. We commit the day's program into your care. We pray committing the speaker into your mighty hand. Speak through him and let this evening program be a success. We thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, my able pastors. Merke Humde, Southwest Ghana Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Yenya 25 years. Na Yenye Negel Memorial Adventist Hospital. Enaya Kaboma. Yes, this four-day lecture on health. 
but Pacho theme no also sound um, sound well and essential well. It is up at all Kenyan any day. Can I promise you? We've got it together, and of course, we ought to be addressed to really know the purpose of our gathering. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen watching us at home, and those of you who got it here present, I will at this point invite to the podium the president of the Southwest Ghana Conference of the Seventh day Adventist Church, Pastor Kwachi Adiefe. As he comes to address us, please put your hands together for him. If you are watching us at home, you can also do the same by putting your hands together for our president. Mr. President, you're welcome. Good evening to you all. Uh, just a short welcome address. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome all of you to the Made in Health campaign of the Southwest Ghana Conference in conjunction with the Nagel Memorial Adventist Hospital. Thank you for taking your time to join us this evening. This event is part of our Silver Jubilee celebration, and it aims at creating awareness and making us conscious of our health. One of the ways to empower men and women alike is to assure that their health and wellness are taken care of, thus this health campaign. This event is a way, to, is a way of educating the public on the importance of health and temperance. Let me once again call on all of us gathered here to treat our personal health, that of our friends, the children, our families, and that of our employees with utmost care and attention to ensure a brighter future for all of us. To all participants, I can assure you that we will continue to offer support throughout these four days, providing the necessary health tidbits so as to help us to be able to live very well. To all men, women, and youth who are here present, I do hope and believe that these four days will go a long way in improving your health and in the long run, your productivity in serving Mother Ghana. God bless us all for taking some time out of our busy schedule to participate in this health campaign. Thank you very much. Mimfa de Marquinhos, you know, I'm going to say, 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 i am for the president. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for this wonderful address. Southwest Ghana Conference, why 25 years? Uh, he was less than me on an only job way. No, my papa, if I was a new bombarded new Tashian or TV, no crow, a dear chip. As I was something as a wood team, so I talk right there. I want to hear Fantini Casa on a mature. Now, Southwest Gana Convery, I'm your drum, you're 25 years. Your name is the hospital, Cassia Pi, Okrumoa, and your car, Bomoa, your disagree media, your dear bro. But money is so better for you. Now, with the Jumadi and Chipa, and I'm with Jidina Rishimuse. Ebayen shall be brave at your mouth. I want to finish one come on. Yet, there will be a rush. Right about now, we ask Oye our able choir. Now, was it Oye the theme song? Was it Abraham? Now, you will be a soul. Yes, they are to see a one do for the man. So, choir, I hand over everything to you now.
sure you can do better for the choir. Please put your hands together for a choir. At this point, I'll ask the choir to please um, go down stage for me. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for them while they go down stage. Please put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, would I invite the medical director for Nagel Memorial Adventist Hospital, who is also a national health advisor, for Ghana Red Cross Society, Dr. Donko, Dr. Donko, to address us. I'm sure he has a lot for us today. Dr. Donko, you hear about Bizin Koma for an apple, Bizin Home. I am the medical director for Oye Nigel Memorial Adventist Hospital. Naraso, a health advisor, the Magana Red Cross Society, Western Region. Western Region. Dr. Donko is here. Please put your hands together for Dr. Donko. Doc, you're so much welcome. Always happy to see you. Good evening to you all. I welcome you to this wonderful occasion. It's a period where the Southwest is celebrating the health of Ghanaians. We are going to take you through a journey for these four days. We are going to look at various diseases that affect the people of Ghana. We are going to then try and link it to what the Bible teaches. Today we are Today we're going to look at chronic kidney diseases. We are going to look at a disease that is on the rise. I was very surprised when in training I realized that almost every single day someone comes in with the, um, with the kidneys almost gone. 
obi ede sa yade yi e ba ayaresabia ho god created everybody to have two kidneys nyame e bo sabua mienu e de ma onipa biara they are being shaved and they are in your abdomen na nyame abo ne se adua e wo yeyefununu emu the surprising thing is that because they are two one can get damaged without you even knowing dia emane ya hujuri ni se ba ku hu betumi atochema na ba ku aye adwuma wadwene enko baso so by the time you notice that the kidneys are gone then you are almost gone na ebra adwene ne be baso se sabwa no ho atochema no na won kwa eye afi wonsa we want to look at what the kidneys do in the body the kidneys are so important they maintain your blood pressure they control your blood pressure so if your kidneys are not functioning it means that how to maintain a normal blood pressure will be a problem they are very important in keeping your bones very healthy and one important thing that we want to reemphasize is that they are important in removing what we will call death from the body or waste from the body without the kidneys it means that this waste will stay in the body for a very long time and will cause damage to the body let's look at some statistics about the kidney chronic kidney disease it is surprising you know data from africa and from ghana sometimes is difficult to get but with data we get from the developed countries even makes it scarier data from the u.s just a few months ago is that every one out of seven people in the u.s develop chronic kidney disease at a point in time whilst in training at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital almost every day we have a patient who come who comes with chronic kidney disease and the worst form of it is those who develop what we call end stage kidney disease na die ehu pa ne se won a wo ba no ebi mu die ne die wo ye ho hwe a enye yie these are the people whose kidneys are all are gone and they need help na safwe any won a won sabu a mienu ne nyina no aseya wo hia emwa and because those people treatment of those and the disease at that particular point is so expensive we have to talk about this disease na esan se sa o pese o bua sa afuo ya eh eye de e ka e wo mu wonti no na na nu mre me pese me twe adwene si sa ya de so na ye tumi e bo ye ho ban e firi ho because a few months ago i realized that when i asked from the various hospitals around who have dialysis to put a patient on dialysis a day cost about 300 Ghana cedis and chepi na me yen hwe mu aya sabia hodo a ewo afidi a so obi hia mu aye de na tosu ano e kire se de bia da no se ye de obi tosu a kanisi kadada no 3 million ena obebo ho ka 
and normally the patient might need three of these in a week. And you see, now what trip you are going to do? Over quite a lot of that a video so impressive. And so in a month, you might be spending close to 40 million old Ghana cities. Now let's say, but some of you are going to be able to pay for your money and you are going to pay for your money. Now they are as a sire day. I don't know how many Ghanaians can afford this. Now me nim Ghana afford to do a bit to me any size the key no one day account sa okuni. That is the reason why every year worldwide we have a day we celebrate kidney. And until the day we are a fine do a ye ye da ba akundi si ho na ye day a celebrate sabwa ya day. So what are the things that can make one person develop chronic kidney disease? One of the commonest things are that probably we will not know, we will, might not notice is hypertension or high blood pressure. And because a lot of Ghanaians do not check their blood pressures, by the time you realize you, the patient has developed a, an end stage kidney disease. Hypertension so hypertension or high blood pressure is one of the commonest causes or risk factors to developing chronic kidney disease. Diabetes or high blood pressure is also another one. Diabetes or high blood sugar, sorry. A fe a sitre yadien so eye a quine ba kwa a tritri sabwa yadieno e de eba. A lot of us don't check our blood glucose levels. You may be oha yen check it a sitra a way mojemu. By the time we realize it's destroyed the kidney. And you see, you never buy a hosono, not a say sabwa one of the things we realized in Cape Coast Teaching Hospital is that a lot of people who came down with chronic kidney disease or their kidneys were destroyed had taken some herbal preparations. We are not saying herbal medicines are bad. But but make sure they are accredited by the right authorities. People move from pharmacies or drugstores to drugstores just buying painkillers. These NSAIDs lead to kidney disease. These are things that you can do something about. But there are other forms of risk factors of kidney disease that we call non-modifiable. You are not able to do something. You get it irrespective of what you have done. So, if your family member has developed kidney disease, you have a high risk of developing kidney disease. If a family member has gotten diabetes in the, in the past or hypertension, your risk of developing hypertension and diabetes is high, which means that your risk of developing kidney disease is also high. It means that if you are aging, anybody above the age of 60, your risk factors is high. And it means that if you are so these are things, if you are born black, you are in the black race, your risk is higher. So what are the things that can tell you or give you a sign that you are developing kidney disease? 
In fact, because we mentioned that the kidneys are two, it means that one can work whilst you don't even know the other is already damaged. And so the only way to be sure is to check. But there are signs that you can see, and when those signs come, normally means the disease is advanced. What are these signs or symptoms? You might have dry skin, itchy skin. You might have swelling of your legs. You might have swelling of your eyes. Normally early in the mornings. If it's worse, you might have difficulty breathing. But one again, I want to say that these things, once you see them, it means the disease might be advanced. So the only way is to ensure that you check. So what are the things that we can do? What tests can we do that will help us to identify the disease very early? Not to bore you just checking proteins in your urine. It can give us an, a sign that you are developing kidney disease. Regularly checking your renal function or your kidney functions can help you identify if you are developing kidney disease. But what we want to say, the main reason why we are doing this topic and we do, the, do this every year on the kidney is that once you develop this kidney disease and we don't do anything about it, you end up developing end-stage kidney disease and that is difficult to treat. And so we need to get ourselves tested and we need to prevent the progression of the disease. So what are the things that we can do that can help us prevent the progression of the disease or even prevent us from having chronic kidney disease? So we are saying that regularly checking your blood pressures is an important step. Once we realize that your blood pressures are high, we give you medications. Then it will slow progression even if you have kidney disease. Regularly checking your blood sugar levels is important. Because hypertension and diabetes together are the commonest causes of chronic kidney disease. And so other things that you can also do is that you don't you stop shopping from pharmacies to pharmacies buying painkillers and NSAIDs. Just drinking any herbal preparation is dangerous. Sometimes as a health practitioner, I sit in buses 
and people sell all kinds of things in polythene bags, in rubber bags, and Ghanaians are buying. Todana mete bas mwa mete hunu se ye ton ebi vidro ewo polythene bags mu na e yadi a Ghana for tar topa na sadi ano e hunti mu mayen chi ano. Anytime I see that, I warn them they should be careful of their kidney. Mete huna mete abo onko kose munya she ye ewo musabu ano. Smoking, you should stop. Afe yenjai cigarette nom yenjai we nom. Let's reduce or stop alcohol. As Christians, I believe that we, we will draw ourselves away from alcohol. Eating healthy goes a long way to prevent our kidneys from getting damaged. We advise that you eat healthy diets. We advise that you eat fruits and vegetables. We avoid we, we advise that you avoid taking red meat a lot. Every, some of us like red meat every day, beef. Meat, we advise that you reduce that. Some of us find it difficult to exercise. We should avoid eating simple sugars a, a lot of simple sugars at least 30 minutes for 5 days 30 minutes a day for 5 days in a week of exercise is good enough these things when we do them will slow progression or prevent us from developing chronic kidney disease. Because when you develop chronic kidney disease, we can only manage the disease, we cannot cure the disease. And one thing that is surprising, people are getting this information year in, year out, but are still doing the same things. If you don't do the right things and your kidneys get damaged, you will get to a point where we say end stage and you need dialysis or transplant. Transplant now is very difficult. And it's expensive. And you need a donor who would match. Maybe you might not be lucky by the time you get somebody and you might have died. In the whole of the Western region, we only have six or so machines, dialysis machines, at the regional hospital. And we have almost about 3 million people. Ask yourself if you develop end stage and you need dialysis. Would you be able to get 4,000 Ghana cities or 40 million every month? For dialysis. 
Now, what could that say for the SUA now? Bosumi Bia. Or almost 100,000 or 1 billion old Ghana cities for transplant. And now, can this be done on 1 billion? And Sana will be at the Nesabwa at the amount. Let's keep our kidneys safe. And into Mumay and Boy, a Sabwa home buying. Let's do the right things. Nay, young fat a pine passo. And God will keep us healthy. Nanyame, Ebamayenya, Apomodain. Thank you very much. So at this point, we would like to invite the president of the conference to link us to the scriptures. And in the first half, when you're using your tones, I'll throw it in here or that Southwest Ghana conference. I know or so for your party at the FA now or non so at the young Ako Troy Sem no emo. Yenna Yamia, if you saw ye, then I do or hold ye not trade the ample quamming Yamia, the sun saw ye, then I do or hold Amen. I was young for Doctor Betcher. Say, yes, sir, bono, na yes, sir, no, ya dear, hear ye, papa, pa, a woody pedremo. No passem, a hot tochima, see car, ye de yono, ye nibi, no, what shall I acquire, ye bet me a fasso, na ye a a free a sabunum, na boye, maya to me at Nasidada. Tisania, a doctor for Enne Nim de Fowa Pomodimu, etre quaya, ye fasso, near ye fee, a free a sermon, sana, o yanko ponso, etre a quaya, ye bet me a fasso, a ye fee, and answer bonnet, a free embremo. Bonnet, a yadria. A jiggie to send near my waka a citre a no monsa na a feni a kekahon a won soon san so a wo yesa no hono sana bonne so o you are a won soon san so when you pediano ho so do sanu diagra and soon san swear bano a do quasa si su womu na sa wo de bonne su diagra and soon san swear de bra wono and who could die or say ye more won't nancy be him? It is said ye a who saw do sabbe diagro, neighbor to me a mawa re won quano. Sana, what the bonnet su diagra, a bet to me a ma or sura hinia numuno, unya quine, and a word to me alcohol, and unti me persame fabrek a cra, namitri white beans is you say, said doctor for our quire, ye fasso, ah, watch that tre ye ya, a bet to me a boy the apomo de ne bambo e de abre ye kidneys de a sa na hunhun monso no nyame wo kwan o de amaye ne a ye fa so e be boaye ma ye tumi edi bone so nkonim ana se ye yi bone akwa afri ya kwan mu na e kwan yi ene kwan ben ne edi kan accept that you are a sinner jitum se wo yo de boye ni hunu ho se wo mere uni aho de uni nyansa Bibi biara ni wa ube to me a yo eden sesa enen satra ye ed yaba and na se wa to me ye bone ya kwa ewa wan kasa ubremu turn with me to Jeremiah chapter three verses thirteen to fourteen. Only acknowledge your iniquity that you have transgressed against the Lord your God and have scattered your charms to alien deities under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. Return, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married to you. I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. What's it here? <laughs> Na moji tumu saade ya me mawa mo ekro bia me yi mu ba ko mienu na masie sie mo na sede ye de aduane papa apomu atene tene e de bo ama ye sa abu no nya ho den daada no yesu se o se minu mienu hunu ye bone na ye hunu ye mere ye ne ye sinto a na se ye ma ho kwan a obesie sie ye not the Adam Akasia Adam here. Let me prove it further. In First John chapter one, verses seven to ten. First John chapter one, verses seven to ten. 
But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. See, I did say I had the boy for that is the first step that is the first step that is the first step Dr. said red meat jai Jesus said, you want to remove that sin from your life. The second step to that road, you know, and he said, believe in Jesus Christ as your substitute for the punishment of sin. Jesus Christ to me said, Or no, Nedin in Nippa, ya bea jedia, or dear see a nine, now woe who edia do or turn with me to First John chapter five, verses eleven to twelve. First John chapter five, verses eleven to twelve. And this is the testimony. What is it? That God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Praise the Lord. He who has Jesus has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Hey, my brother, my sister. But God demonstrates his own love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Yaya de bon yefo, jeni a hantai, eni en swadye, sua en sem fata, ye womu unu, en umpona Jesus, obe wudi ji yein. He loves us, ope yasem, odo yein, ope siye yein kwenim di fo, eti ya nyumre yein, sen ya ope se u siye siye u sa abono, siye siye u bra, na yi boni ya kwa, na ma Jesus kwa yein, no ma wunyen kunim do for number three. Adi ya tosu mi ansa ye ye be bwa ye mi ye yi fi edi ye free ye brem ye yi boni edi ye free ye brem ti said ye ye yi fi e free ye sa bu hu bo hu ba no and it's a confess Christ as your personal savior. Pay muka mani pa njira u se na di ya wuni Yesu ne tuo na di ya wadam for no no na di ya wuni ni ne didi u didi ti so no u num ti so no u bo bra ya wuni ya mani njira ti so no. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise the Lord. Was it Pemuka? Saudi Wakuma Jidi said, Jesus, Wabahunemu. Now the word you need, the tone of source say, Jesus Christ, me mamu ni nara hunu say, me ni ni namwa. Ose ani e, ube yi boni ya kwa efri ubre mu. But hasta, how do I demonstrate this? E kwa ya fasu yeni ni mi ya de pe muka, mi ya de mani pe ni na mi pe muka say, Jesus ni majen kwa, Jesus na me ni me nanti e. How do I demonstrate it this way? Galatians chapter three, verses twenty six to twenty seven. For you are all sons of God through faith. In Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Who per se would demonstrate here? Paul says, Acquire your first would demonstrate, he said, And Nadia, my genedi, and Nadia, my palm work as a man in the nam, and Nadia, or your papa, or your media penny, and Nadia, men in there too, or say, My young mawasu. So baptism, and acquire publicly, ye declare, ye demonstrate, he said, Yesu. Ya fana say ya kraje nkwa wa ba hu namu na me jinidi 
That is the way. Who catcher busuya? Who catcher my any crosser? Who ni Jesus? Any two? Look at it. Oh, se me me nda uma ho kwa ya. And pin pin bebre. Omo clear boni e firi wa kwa mu. And I'm saying, oh, sir, abu hiyao. Na ni ema doctor akan. And I'm mono. Ube chweni ye. Na fe wa jam po. Ube dim po a watiswa. No worry. Ha ma mani a di na abu awo. Ube ya po mu a tene tene. Uba checki u BP. Now check it was it. Now rest on your money men yina. And ni a da ho de yano sa jine no and ni akuma cronwa. Nessa wo de ko boneho. Boni e hu ebe ma wuni nya min temwa se kra kra. Na kwani ni mahu kwai miya mawasu in the name of Jesus. And pim pim bebre eh yo. They are clearing sin from their lives. They are clearing death from their lives. Oh Saturday. You do do any hope about ready Jesus Christ. You have a watery grave in the together in the name of Jesus. You have a power to be a brand new personality now. Number B. Biara and near ma. I say, I need a three train. So, oh no, you be cleaning in a few brim because on concurrent over by better now. Be any person who cry with you say amen out there, Jesus. Obes yes, you are come and what you and pim pim bebre. One would demonstrate this. Ya jine di ya fano siya kra jenkwa. Then finally, depend totally on God by careful obedience to all His commandments. Upa se o yi boni fri wa kwe mu. Fa hu yi na tuwe rade so. Na ye si tiye eman emran sem. First John chapter 2 verses 4 to 6. O si ya kase ya ye nyam so fo. Ya kase ya ni yesu de nam. Na ye ni ni mra so dia. Ni ye ya atro fo. Na ye nyan no kre. Because ni yesu de nam dia. Ye su tiye. A man and ransom. Yes, suit ye a man shall shout the abbey. No, 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 no Mary Magdalene, one no wafa simo onetie, na no wafa edi no grun te chiriwa, one ne ye ye namu niema, eti ye ye ma akwalano, ebe divolopo, me masem, ti ye baka kira no tufi won krom, a no wan wo betani ho, eno wako tina krobi ya ye freno Magdala, eno di ye ya oba pe pain, no osom, afendi ye kwa si ba, one ne ne eko, kwa abnaba, one ne ne eko, kwa jobo, one ne ne eko, kwa ye professional prostitute, that way we have be Yesu na Magdala Montenso. Na Mary Magdalene said, this man look handsome. Where the only more bar who bear ma. Or the on on fan and on cast him a pearl. And after Mary then his skills are to form. Now all ye are chia or nantiemu. No ye all the skills. No da da no. Na ne nima e ye koba. Ne komun chimanu wa huri huri. Nina with the view to attract Jesus. Send ye Yesu. Na jen be bano suwa. Se diye Yesu. E be donom. Ashi apro Jesus. O be Yesu. O be Yesu. O be nwa no hon se no. We di o ya surun kufi me ma nwa ame ni wong de dano. We di o ya surun kufi wong wong ame ni wong kobano. O hon tu mi bi. E wong ne nim. O hon wong di bi ni insisa hon wong di bi. E wong ne nim. Mary be no be no. Jesus. E di nen sa to Mary so. E jamaya kono hon wong di jeni nina la. A two year ago, Mary became a brand new personality. And we're free. Magdala, no call back to Bethany Hall. Now we're just on one and on one in the grounds. Charlie Mary about around doing it. Yada da. Could you call us? Charlie Mary was up. My bow was it there? Oh, say see ya there. Say super no my guy. I was. But say see ya there. Meant to say be. My she a brand new be a your friend Jesus. But no one can no. But no one is here. Two year ago, Kwabna ba was here. Kwabna, I am sorry. Say si adi ese subano majai e me masem na kono no etu ayira wa sesa me wa sie sie me wa polish me my brand new personality so do huma ruade jesus christ am found send your body do wa kwa kodro like he change mary no sie sie no no he can transform your life and make it better obey you we free don toriemu no do what na mapuma mu na obey yen kunim di for dada say wa kuma mu asem ni I don't know. I'm sorry, Nina. Am I a bomb pie? Jesus, obey Jesus, Jesus, 
Obe yi bwane na kwa. Jesus. Obe mwa ya kron kron ne fe fe fe. Ashe ni diye ni yonyo ura. Medo ma asori ye jire nina ashe wansa. Fa wansa kanye yin. Na fe yin. Yi ye fri bwane mire ye biara hon. Na miye nye nkuni mdi fwo wo Jesus Christ te demo. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for the president of the Southwest Ghana Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. President Irazinyami Unshiro Papa Papa Ewansem Wuhuma as they are praying. Now, don't forget what fear we're saying here. Mwwe jizinya rishye mide jumezi waye inshirasurin kum ozamo. Osofo wabo todo za mahen. Za kiana doktor becha chure hen oye hen sabu wano hon saman. Mijemzi yede afa ababi as they feel. Yes, you may say in our baby, you may care with the Ochna Zayershe Ossi developmental milestone. Na Ninchemi in our new day. De Razadum Uba, Fida Ewen Kisida Obenya Afikurum, Za Osa De Uhu, your expectation of your child from zero to one year. That is what we'll be talking about tomorrow. In the Oye Razan, if you are Ochna followers, it will hope TV. Um, in Britain, on CMP, me actually, Jimmy's in 6 30. We're starting the program. Very care home there. It is something live at the Takradi shopping mall. You need to be here and then be a blessing as well. And when I was sharing with you, you know, in Ochna, we'll be around bombers and umbra. Yes, Jimmy's in our urban area, you know. Um, Tebuta, um, Kwa Noaha, or say the meaning is um, unmerited favor. We would ask them to give us one beautiful rendition. God bless you for being a part of this wonderful program. Please do not go till the final prayer. Thank you.
and at this point, we will invite to the podium Pastor Kuma for a closing prayer. Let's bow and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for seeing us through this nice program successfully. We commit the rest of the program into your mighty hand. Let your holy angels protect us and see us through the night to see another day's life and give honor and adoration unto your mighty name. We thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you.